Welcome to the third season of the NIDS Whitelist server. So, Apple. Yes? How was shopping? Oh, has he been shopping? Yesterday? Yeah, how was shopping? Yeah, you know. What, what did you buy? <laughs> Just to start a conversation. Buy? Some, some mint meat, um, some some sauce, some tomato sauce. That's about it, really. <laughs> that is so crap. weird. I I was under the impression you'd be buying clothing, and then first oh. I had to think you're just covering yourself in minced meat and tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was crafting a suit and <laughs> out, out of out of the mints. I might put a little cargo container on top of there. That is a good idea. That was a loud motorbike. No, but it was a shame that you were buying things. You missed things yesterday. Yeah, it was Minecraft, wasn't it? I haven't played Minecraft mm. in a while. Yeah, but do you know what was brilliant? The par with Minty. You know, we kind of tried to break to mink and Minty that I'm there. Yeah, and oh, it was hilarious. The goodness. Um, so basically, I sit in my tiny closet with, with, with my headphones on, playing on my the crummy spare laptop. bedroom. It's, it's not a tiny, tiny closet. closet. I don't keep you in a closet. Just because it has a tiny window doesn't make it a bedroom. It's a closet. <laughs> it's got bed in it. It's got a bloody boiler in it too. <laughs> Well, was I? Oh, yeah. Um, so basically, I was sitting in there playing Minecraft and chatting along with the people in TeamSpeak, and then I tell them that I'm going to get a coke. And by this time, we'd made it worse. Like, guess where Mir is? Yeah. Was was the the theme? So he was warmed up for it, and Mir's saying, "I'll go and get a coke now." <laughs> and I stood up. I left the tiny closet, walked over past Sal. Informed her that I'm passing by to get a Coke that was picked up by Two Speak. <laughs> I went to the fridge, got a Coke, then walked past by again, told Sal that she's running low on Coke, mm -hmm. and sat down at the laptop again, and then just opened the Coke in front of it and asked him what he thinks about Coke. <laughs> and, didn't get it. and then a lady went off on a, a tangent about how much he likes Coke over Pepsi. That was it. <laughs> so I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> then again, it seemed like he had a rough night. I didn't quite get what oh, he was yeah, talking about. Oh, yeah, the booty call. <laughs> Oh, do you know, that um. that recording was corrupt. I'm so... Oh, it's a shame, because it was a really funny story. I only Minty told I'll, I'll put it up, probably. Oh, excellent. Um, Minty told it to us without realising that we were actually recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, for Apple's sake, he, he got a message from uh, a, a certain lady friend that he has an interest in. Right. Uh, the message was uh, interesting to him, let's say, uh, and he was asked <laughs> to to hurry over <laughs> uh, in order to perform a certain duty. And when he got there, he found that uh, she had drunk a little too much and was asleep. <laughs> and oh. he got back at, at 1.30 in the morning and was kind of... Uh, Frustrated. <laughs> I need to hear it from his point of view, though. That is hilarious. <laughs> Who made a giant dick in the new Nidsville? That's for the same question it's... I was asking. I didn't understand it. It's beautiful. It's not. <laughs> yes, it's it orange. Is. It's orange. Well, you know. D diseases? I don't, I, I don't... Did you know of any orange... You know, peni. I haven't seen yours yet, man. So I imagine that's what Donald Trump's look like. Oh <laughs> 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 man, do you? <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> 
the gestures are equally dramatic. <laughs> uh, do you know of the British person David Dickinson? I don't know if I want to know about him. He sounds like a giant dick. <laughs> well, if ever, he's very orange. Oh, okay. You're making um, it worse. If ever anybody had an orange penis, it would be David Dickinson. <laughs> sure. I mean, I torture you with half-human yellow beans. You tell me about your orange dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, not mine. I don't own him. He's like a, a, a treasure of the nation. Yeah, that's what I meant. You as in you the people of Great Britain. <laughs> it's Apple's orange dick too. Yes. I, I don't want any part in this orange dick, thanks. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it's yours already, I'm sorry. It is David Dickinson, isn't it, Apple? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not very good. For some reason I was thinking Terry Wogan before you said it, but it definitely isn't him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Probably I've got a functioning rotting thing. Rotting penis now. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's um, ex peni, isn't he? That was sad. He was great. He was a treasure of the nation. And he was one of the celebrities from the BBC recently who have died, and no scandal has come to light afterwards. Yeah, it's quite surprising, really. Mm, yeah. Like... Well, actually, I don't know. I, I wasn't that surprised with that one. But, mm. you know, there, there's quite a few that you can easily see yeah. had a bit of a, a strange part. I'm, I'm waiting for the Chuckle Brothers to come out as paedophiles, to be honest. <laughs> what, what they would they would themselves come out <laughs> yeah, just, just open the camera pedophiles anonymous <laughs> this conversation's taking a very strange turn all I can think about is I, I don't know if I want to say it <laughs> <laughs> I think he should say we've already went too far. <laughs> oh, you know how they say to me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> <laughs> too far. <laughs> I don't know. At least you know the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mia's reaction, I feel like he's just gone a bit pale now. <laughs> Right, I'm not recording this. It's not my problem. <laughs> well, if we already went that far, it doesn't well, mean... Well, I've put Mia in charge of editing, so whatever comes out, it's his fault. What do you mean, in charge of editing? You've chained me to editing. <laughs> no, trained, not chained. Okay. There's a difference. If you, if you say that, I'm fine with it. But if we already went that far, um, does that mean I can now bring up my, uh, you know, politically correct German joke about things I might have accidentally done? Incorrect. <laughs> Not politically correct. Politically Ge incorrect. Hold on. German policy is in 1935. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really going correct. there. I was, I was, I was tempted to make quite a horrible joke, Doctor Longer, but you being in the cupboard and well, maybe an Anne Frank kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I just realised. Yeah, I'm going too far. I should stop. <laughs> I blame Apple. You can't He's blame a bad Apple. Oh yeah. Wow, Nudsville's really been coming along. Oh yeah, it has. What you doing on there right now? What I always do, just run around doing nothing, because I'm incapable to do anything in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, right. Can you find some gold? Apparently Boris yeah, I needs can try. to build a giant golden dome. And yeah. apparently I am in charge of finding the gold for him. Which is complicated, I'm terrible at mining. Someone's got a horse with golden armor it. There's a skeletal horse? Yeah, part of the combat updates, you can now tame skeleton horses by shooting 
Skeletons that ride the skeleton horses off the skeleton horse without killing the horse. Then you um, can tame it. I, I don't know why, but the, the idea of a golden dome, for some reason I've just got Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome going through my head. <sighs> this is what I have to put up with the entire day now, apparently. <laughs> I don't know if that... Did that ever make it to Germany? Yeah, it's before your time anyway, but... Well, what do you mean before my time? I have you know, some of your commenters believe I'm 50. Yeah, this is true. They think you're 50? Yeah, they think I'm 50. I mean, I don't I think they were listening to me, a backseat driving me at some point. Um... Um, what were we talking about? I can't remember what the topic of conversation was, but the fact that people don't wear ties when they go to restaurants was one of the issues that you had. With well, it things. is an issue. That she's doing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Please don't come to rural Australia. <laughs> you know, shirts are optional in restaurants. <laughs> in restaurants. You see, um, I was too hungry once. There was, um, uh, and um, you know, vacation stuff. And I was so amazed by one of the local Tesco markets because it was the only piece of civilization that weird town oh, I was stuck in had. Oh, you went to hungry. Sorry, I, I, old joke. But actually, yeah, I really did think you meant that you were hungry, and so you went to a shop. But you, were, you were in the country hungry. Yeah. Yeah, country hungry, and. Um, well, uh, the, one of the fascinating things about this thing is it's open 24 hours. But I was in there at night at one point for some odd, obscure reasons, probably because I couldn't stand the heat outside. Well, people there just walking around with a carpet that I cut a hole through for their neck. And that, that's it. <laughs> was it like Lovely side view. <laughs> that was what I was about to ask was about the side view. <laughs> oh wait, that was literally it. That is literally okay. Yeah, they were wearing those weird uh, flip-flop sandals. Wow, that that, that must have been quite the sight. <laughs> and it makes noises while he walks, so you're prone to watch <laughs> to looking over there because you want to know what that squeaking is, and that's just. Imagine you waking up in a hot sweat at night, just having a <laughs> nightmare about, about those people. Uh, uh, were they going commando as well? They weren't even wearing any trousers. <laughs> I think if you're not wearing any trousers at all, it still counts as going commando. It's like, as long as you've got no underwear, then regardless of whether you've got but usually it refers to when you've got trousers on and no underwear so but if you've got no trousers at all that would count I think as going commando would hold on a it? second would that mean that these full nude settlements where people are nude the entire time Oh, those poor bastards that in winter that's just oh that was what we were talking about what um, about uh, that was one of the topics of conversation was new Germans oh don't get me started on those weird people I almost said something worse it's a thing <laughs> as Boris was there we mentioned it just recently <laughs> East Germans they're, they, they, they're prone to walking around naked I disagree vehemently just in general, to nakedness? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Just Mia doesn't <laughs> like nudity. <laughs> you know, you don't need to go around noon. That's, that's not why we invented civilization. Why? <laughs> why do you torture me like that? Um, this is why uh, when Mia was talking about going commando that I was most amused. So I was thinking, he doesn't know what that refers to. There's no way he knows what that's referring to. Well, for the record, that's I said full commando back. So, so it's, 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 <laughs> it's actually, actually probably would mean that I'm wearing pants and you're taking them back on again. <laughs> Am I going full commando every time I'm using the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> These are some quite technical issues with the language. Why have I got gravity generate? Oh, I know. Do you know, I might take the connector off the back of the ship just to be on the safe side. Nah, keep it there. Like I said, it's just about three weeks. It's all going to work fine again. And thrusters are just uh, randomly combust. Ding. You know, because that's, <laughs> that's cool. Keen likes doing that. Well, it took them a year to sort out landing gear. Eh, uh, is it really sorted out? Mm, it's stable under certain conditions. Mm -hmm. That counts as being sorted out, doesn't it? Also, they tried to sort out the rotors. They just added a safety lock feature, that's all. Although that's become useful for something other than what they intended, which is opening doors of thrusters. <laughs> it's essential. <laughs> it's just a silly question. Uh, where exactly on the weird slanted door are the thrusters? Are they pointing through the door? So basically if the door's closed and um, the safety lock is on, and, but you still put on the full thrust override, every car that's standing behind the door is going to be incinerated. <laughs> um, they are pointing backwards. They're at the very bottom, pointing backwards. Oh. Uh, well, back, pointing in. I mean, to the ah. thing. So if you're behind, you possibly could get hit, but it's only like a two-block range because they're atmospheric thrusters. Okay. Well, I expect you to, um, you know, make Anubis drive through your open door, and then as he comes up to it, you close it. Just, just to slam the door into his face. Oh, well, even more than that, I'll put down a sensor. <laughs> Any, anyone not in the... Can you do by faction? Yeah. Okay, so I'll... Yeah, enemies, yeah. So I'll leave the faction, <laughs> and I'll have a sensor that it'll close the door if anyone not in the faction goes through. Uh, Amir, I owe you an apology. The lights are on. It's just that they're dimmed. And, and is is that an excuse now? Uh, that they're dimmed? No, that's it's because they're dimmed that I thought they weren't on. You can clearly see them being on. Yeah, yeah, but when they're not dimmed, they glow, uh, even when they're. They're off. glowing right now. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, have that's been right. the entire time. That's why. Just it was for reference, easy. try turning them off now. Just press L for a second. What a difference, right? In this environment, yeah. It was and look, that's me. Huh? That's me. That's you, yeah. Why look. am I red? Uh, because you're always red when you're in your cry chamber. Oh, uh, well, I turn into an enemy. Yeah. The enemy of my enemy is my other enemy. Mm hmm. I try to introduce Sal to Freeman's mind. She doesn't like the voice of the guy. I was a bit offended. Oh, the the guy who was ranting. Yeah. Yeah. There's enough ranty people in the world. I don't need to find another one to listen to. <laughs> but it was Dr. Gordon Freeman. That's the only voice I imagine him with. <laughs> Even though he, in theory, doesn't have a voice. He, he must do, right. We've just never heard it. Because otherwise, everyone that's met him is talking to no one, <laughs> having a conversation with a guy who can't talk. Uh, well, maybe he lost his voice and is communicating everything in sign language. Or just literal okay. signs. So ev everyone knows. So <laughs> <not> sign <laughs> yeah. That gives a new meaning to sign language. I take that's your doors being finished. One of them is. I did it in one style and I'll do the other in another style, but I was supposed to leave like 40 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sorry for keeping you awake for so long. You may not leave. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have stayed if I was actually paying attention to the time. Oh. So that's not your fault. But yes, I am going now. 
Goodbye. So, see you bye. Later. Bye. It would be funny if the episode is ending now too.